Hey y'all. Oh my God, I'm so white. Okay. <laughs> guys we are getting started you want to start that yeah one? we are super organized today there we go Feeling professional technological equipment technological I'm here with can I see I can't quite see you let's go over okay yeah. hey guys I am here with Helena from Squish and Co artist extraordinaire former student ooh, and uh -huh. dog mom of Ingrid, In Ingrid tell Ingrid, who is <laughs> we're doing really well. Um, dog model of Ingrid, who is going to be our dog model today. I'll pick her up as soon as I don't have yellow paint all over me. The theme of our live stream today is Halloween slash puppies, pup I guess. puppies, dog costumes. and costumes. So we are going to be printing some little dog neckerchiefs for said puppy coming up, coming, <laughs> coming in hot, <laughs> coming up angry. Good girl. So would you like to introduce your puppy and uh, tell us a little bit about her and sure. her problems? Okay. So this is Ingrid. She's eight, um, and she can't see you at all. Not because you're on the other side of the phone, but because she is blind as a bat. She's had diabetes since she was since before I got her, um, and that has of course hosted a slew of problems. But she's super sassy. Her favorite things include sleeping and uh, being on the couch. Oh, and carrots. And carrots. Yes. You love carrots. We're gonna make you some stuff today. Yeah, we're gonna make you some costumes. She loves costumes. She has three tutus. Okay, go back down for a second. All right. Come back up when, when we'll you're surprised later. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised. Uh, so, <clears throat> Helena put together some lovely artwork for us. You want to share your block? Yeah. Um, I did, uh, let's see here. This is a little cauldron. Um, the, those are supposed to be little bubbles. It'll look better on the thing. It'll feel great. Um, and then this is a broomstick. A little witchy broomstick um, and I made a little hat. Ingrid really likes the hat as you can tell mm. and then these are just little like motifs moon and stars I figured around it. Super oh. spooky. Oh. And a dog a paw print. Uh, yeah. Also I did something this morning. <laughs> Pumpkin, bubbles, cauldron bubbles. Perfect. I could probably put those above this. And oh, it would look good ones. Okay, yeah. cool. Because that's how it's going today. Um, also, we are drinking some really spooky Angry Orchard. Angry Orchard. <laughs> Cheers. It's got a spooky tree on it. It does. The tree freaks me out. So here's, oh, this is actually really good. I know. It, it tastes like cider. apple cider. I know. It tastes like juice. Also, so we, try, we tried to put together something that was going to be like with Campari. But it turns out I don't like Campari. Correct. Turns out because Campari tastes terrible. Yeah, Campari just tastes terrible. <laughs> so, it's gonna be super bright. Yeah, it freaks out when it sees how little sun I've gotten this summer. There okay, you go. I'm a little washed out, but okay. It's okay. I'm good. I know. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we are going to just kind of get started. Cool. Do you have brushes? I got brushes. Yes. So do you have like an idea in mind for your dog? I do. I'm going to do like little elements and then pepper them around with these guys. What about you? I haven't got that far yet. I'm really on it today if you haven't noticed. I know. It's I'm, really early. It is early. I am going to be printing on black fabric, which is going to be an interesting experiment because I obviously print on a lot of white. And I know we can do black because the white is super opaque and I can blend colors into it, but I haven't actually done much of that. So we're gonna see how it goes and then I'll know for next time. So let's see. Um, so <clears throat> are you gonna be dressing up for Halloween this year? I think so. We usually do something for Halloween. Um, my aunt is a huge Halloween buff, so uh, she Always wants to do something. She suggested the pagan ball at the castle winery thing in 
to be Helena. So we might go to that, but I haven't actually told my boyfriend that yet, so he'll figure that out right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's kind of kind of what we're doing. Um, last year we went to this weird like party at a Jewish community center. We're not Jewish, um, but we like to crash their parties. And she was a mermaid, <laughs> and I was a Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Sorry, who was a mermaid? My aunt. Oh, your aunt. I didn't yes. know if you were talking about your dog. I was oh, like, no. How did you get a blind dog to dress up like a mermaid? <laughs> Actually, she has many costumes. Tell, oh, me, tell me about them. Let's see, we got an Ewok costume. <laughs> she has a couple of, like, footy pajamas. <laughs> She's got three tutus. Oh um, I still just haven't found the right Halloween costume for her this year. I have seen some really good mermaid ones, but I don't know if you saw her. She's a work? little bit... A little bit pudgy, so I worry that she'll look a little funky in a mermaid costume because they're for like the. She didn't mean it. <laughs> it's not her fault. She was born that way. Oh. What about you? What are you doing? Um, I'm doing my little white pumpkin right now. Um, <clears throat> for Halloween, I am going to. So far, my friend is does these. Well, it's not gonna be on Halloween. It's a couple days before. My friend Wes does these fun tiki um, tiki pop up bars, and I went to one of his, I went to the first one after I met him um, in Brooklyn, and he did a real fun one in um, at this like little it was kind of like a tiki style bar. So um, this one he's going to be doing, and it's going to be Halloween themed, and people are going to dress up. So uh, that's one thing I'm doing, and that's cute. on Halloween night, I think uh, well my block actually shuts down. There's like a, in a four block block radius, and they have like a like a block party. So it's nice. gonna be, oh, I love it. So they're gonna have a um, like a party. All the kids come out. Everybody dresses up, and then most of the people on our block will open their like garages and do a um, like a haunted house. And it's that sounds like so much. Fun. It's kind of ridiculous. Like there's so many kids, and they have food trucks and a bounce house. It's, it's oh my god. It's a yeah. place to be. Do adults get to go in the bounce house? Because usually um, they're discriminated against, but bounce I houses are the best. <laughs> Will I be seeing you? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Mm. It's working. Guys, so far we got... It looks cute. The white, opaque white on the black fabric is working, so we're good to go. I'm just going to keep going with that one, I think. Yeah, and I'm just doing a couple of these little cauldrons. I wonder if I should steal any or if I should. If only she could see the finished product or any of the product. <laughs> or if anything. Only, if only she could see. <laughs> no offense. No, That's okay. No We're, offense, Ingrid. My other dog will see it. He's he's sighted. He just, what he makes up an adorable personality, he lacks in brains. <laughs> So we were talking earlier about Halloween movies and mm, mm -hmm. scary shows that I can't really watch because I'm a home alone a lot. Yeah, and you don't want to watch. I have a vivid imagination. Um, yeah, so we just finished The Haunting of Hill House on Netflix, okay. which is like, it's about this family that moves into a house called Hill House and they have five kids. And the kids are all experiencing these ghosts. And then it flashes to them as an adult. And one of the kids commits suicide in the oh. house. And so oh. they all have to go back. And it's like this psychological thriller slash complete crazy ghost story. But the craziest thing about it is they hide ghosts in the in the shots. And you have to like go back and re rewind it to see where all the ghosts were. Oh. Um, so like you don't even see half the ghosts and it's just so creepy knowing that they were there and you didn't see them. Oh my god. Oh my yep. god. That's great. I used to try to watch, um, American Horror Story because it's such a good show and it's so interesting and like they just shock you all the time on like, it's, it's so suspenseful. You never know what's going to happen and I love shows like that. But like I was having the worst nightmares and I was again home, home alone a lot so I was like, I need to stop doing this because I can't sleep. It's not good for you. <laughs> I can't sleep. I'm not working. So, 
That's yeah. I can't watch it as sad as I am to not watch it. Oh, another weird one that's on right now is do you know who uh, Christine McConnell is? I don't. She is like a art influencer person on Instagram. I hadn't heard of her either. Um, but she mo mostly does uh, like stylized baking stuff. Stylized baking. Yeah, like she made a cake that was her house. That looked oh. exactly like her house with all the details and stuff. Okay. It was really cool. So she has like a creepy Halloween themed baking show that also features Jim Henson's Muppets. <laughs> it's weird, but I was getting almost angry at how good she is at all of this stuff. <laughs> you would stop. <laughs> yeah, it was that was that was pretty cool if you're into like crafty stuff. She uh -huh. makes like candles and dresses too and the show and things like that. It's just kind of whatever she wants to do, I think. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And then of course there's the movies that you have to watch every year. Mm -hmm. Hocus Pocus. Mm -hmm. uh, Practical Magic. I haven't seen that one. The Nightmare Before Christmas, but you can oh, watch yeah. that at Christmas time That's or true. Halloween time. That's true. You can choose. Yeah, multi-purpose movie. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like where this is going. It's cute. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing with the bubbles. <laughs> Maybe they're like thought bubbles. What are the pumpkins thinking? I'm not gonna ask you because I, I don't. I just can't even imagine what's gonna come out of your mouth. <laughs> I was thinking, oh god, oh god, I'm stuck on a handkerchief. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh god. No, <clears throat> you will escape. Uh, yeah. Hi, Romy. Is that your friend? Yeah, that's my friend, Romy. <laughs> The one that always, I always really liked it. I have like a thing with like morbid movies. Like I just think they're really interesting, but they still creep me out. Um, the Craft, mm -hmm. we were talking about earlier. That movie is freaky. At least it used to be. I don't, I don't know. I watched it a long time ago when I was a kid, but. That it freaked one, you out when you were a kid. That one always freaked me out a little bit, but I always really liked it. Once it freaked me out when I was a kid were like The Matrix. When his mouth disappears. Oh yeah. Not like the traditional stuff. It was like the the stuff that's not supposed to be freaky, but then it haunts you forever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think I'm cauldroned out for now. Let's see if I can just spin this around. Are you gonna do other colors or are you gonna stick to black? Um, I don't know yet. I think I think cool I'm gonna black. do like accent ones in uh, light green once I finish with the black and maybe put some yeah so now I'm gonna start with this guy who looks much cooler once he's printed I believe I printed it out and I was like I like having Helena over for this because she does all the work and she carves all the blocks <laughs> I get really excited about carving the blocks and I do it way in advance and then I'm like yeah I have nothing to prepare yeah and then I'm like Oh, I have a workshop today. I don't have time for this. Helena! <laughs> and then she makes cute things, and then I steal them, and then I and put then it on my show. And then stuff. Yeah, it's and good. Make stuff together. Your workshop looked really fun yesterday. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, if any of my little students from yesterday are watching, hi. You guys are awesome. I had a really fun time at the Botanical Gardens with you, and I sent you an email this morning with all the tools and things. <clears throat> Yeah, it was kind of cool. I was really excited to do the Botanical Gardens workshop, and then I was talking to the woman there, and she was talking about how um, it's kind of interesting because there's, like, a building, like, right next to the Botanical Gardens, and she's like, you know, like, you'd think that we could just, like, use this room whenever we wanted, and then it turns out that it's owned by Parks and Rec, and they're not allowed to, like, decorate it. They're not allowed to do anything. They have to clean it up. Like, they have to take out all the trash and stuff. Otherwise, they get oh in God. trouble. And I was like... If, and, they, and they have to pay for the room. It's this whole thing. And I was like, that's so ridiculous because the room is just sitting here. Um, and they're like, she's like, oh, yeah, like, it's it's good to hear that you say you think the botanical gardens is such a big thing because we feel really small. And I was like, You're everybody like, knows. The every, yeah. Everybody knows about the botanical garden. So maybe everybody knows about it, but they just don't actually go there. Yeah. And then she was saying that event, the flower piano thing that they just did. Did you see that? Okay. But, so they do this thing, and I didn't actually, it wasn't even on my radar till last year, and I've lived here a long time. Um, I don't know why I was with this, but anyways, we're, we're going somewhere with pumpkin. <laughs> okay. Are you snoring down there? Yeah, she's asleep with her tongue out. Can you see her tongue? <laughs> I can't. 
<laughs> I can't see. Um, the flower piano thing is some event at the botanical gardens that basically like makes them the most money uh -huh. uh, for the entire year. They get the most attendance, and it's just that one event. They take pianos and they put them around in the gardens. And That's you, cool. Yeah, and during the day you can go and, and like sometimes they'll have scheduled performances where people will come and like play the pianos, and Aww. it's free. You can just sit there. Um, they also have a, the nighttime edition, so people can come at night and they'll have like professional people come, and you pay like forty bucks. That's awesome. And they play piano under the stars, and it's freaking amazing. We would have totally amazing. gone to that too. Yeah, but I, you know, I didn't even know about that except that it was like on Fun Cheap SF, and I happened to glaze over it, but I yeah. couldn't go to that. I love that website. That is a great website. You can find all the things on that website. We went to um, Hardly Strictly, the Bluegrass Festival, yes. earlier this month mm -hmm. um, because my stepdad played at it. So, Ooh. But it is free. I didn't know that it was free. Oh, um, yeah. I never ask about that sort of stuff because I always get in because my stepdad's play. So like, but then I found out it was free for everyone. I always get in. And I was like, that's so cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Oh, everybody gets in for I'm, free. I'm so mean. Uh, we had a friend that went, and he was watching my stepdad play, and he's like, look, it's Queen's dad on stage, and sent me a picture from the audience, so I sent him a picture from the side of the stage. <laughs> like, I can't help it. They don't come to town very often. I gotta rub it in when I can. Mm, okay. Oh, um, so here's the little broom sticks. Oh, so cute. I've been really into the witchy stuff lately. Yeah, you have. Lots, it is. Lots, of, lots of witchy stuff. I know. Yeah, you want to talk about what you're working on for the holidays? Yeah, I'm doing uh, at least one holiday show. So I'm getting all the stuff I need together for that. Um, I don't know what all will be there. A lot of what I do is like boobs. I do a lot of boob stuff. Of so boobs. I have like boob bags that I made, tote bags out of boobs. She's a little... Um, Black printed... Boob centric. She's a little rough around the edges, this one. Yeah, but I so, like it. Um, uh, I also recently started doing punch needling. I don't know what that is. Um, it's kind of like a Enlightening. loopier embroidery. Okay. So it's like embroidery, but you make these little tiny loops that turn into um, a pattern on the opposite side of the side that you're working on. Okay. It looks really cool. It's very like textured and you can make, um, different levels of loops for different, like, um, like 3D effects, which is really neat. Um, and I've been making little booby ones and I've made a bunch of them. Oh, is that what that was? Okay. Yeah. I think it's that. And I made a bunch of them and then it occurred to me that I probably can't bring those to holiday shows. Why? <laughs> Cause they're like, cause they're just random like kids. Boobs. Kids go there. Oh, sure. Who, you, it's fine. I'm sure you can get away with that. I mean, there's lots of, there's people doing a lot of things. I hope so. We'll see. <laughs> see, this is what happens when I start without a plan. You guys know how much I talk about planning. This is why I plan, because otherwise it comes out looking like... It does not look like whatever you just announced. <laughs> Oh, it looks good. I like the little guy. Like, he really, really has a good attitude going on. <laughs> He's got a good or a bad, bad attitude. One of those things. You, like, accidentally stumbled into one of our inside jokes about our other dog. Whenever we're wondering what he's thinking, the answer is always bubbles. Because <laughs> he, he looks like he's deep in thought, but he's, he's never deep in thought. Aww. And so we're like, what's he thinking? Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Thought, thought bubbles. Yeah, just, just essentially nothing. Nothing. He's, yeah. Oh. Is that dog a rescue dog also? Yeah. Um, I got him when he was a puppy though, so I got to experience all the joys of having a puppy. Don't ever get a puppy. Yeah. No, I don't. I mean, he was cute, but like, yeah, a lot of work. He, yeah, he has been to the vet more often than her, and she has diabetes. She had cancer for two years. She's got dental issues, and he's, we went there this week because he ate a half a chicken worth of chicken bones and had to be rushed to the vet, and then the vet called me and was like, it's gonna, there's gonna be a bit of a delay because he pulled his catheter out four times. Oh, oh God. So now he has three legs shaved, like. <laughs> just, oh god. 
Wow. <laughs> That's horrendous. So when you were like, do you want to bring a dog? I was like, I have one that I will bring. I'm not going to bring She'll just one. sleep nice the whole choice. time. Nice. She's asleep right now. That's perfect. Off in dreamland. That is perfect. So, do you know what you're going to be this year? What are you going to... Hmm? You said you weren't really positive about dressing up, but if you could, what would you what would you dress up as? Uh, I have not even thought about that. Um, my friend wanted to be Betty and Veronica, and then is I, she blonde? No, I'm the blonde one, which is funny because I was born bright blonde, so in my head I'm still blonde, even though not. You have lovely brown hair. I have brown yeah. hair, but in my head I'm not, I'm not a brunette. Because that doesn't make sense to me. Because I know that I was born blonde. So, anyways, um, she is dark, dark brunette, and I am light brunette. So, Ooh, I guess okay. I don't know. I I think people would not get it because I'm not. I would need like a wig, and we would need like a red-haired man. And could you just pick one of those up off the street? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could, but why? <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> So I'm not sure what I would dress up as. Um, my go-to is like creepy dolls. So I do like my hair. I like doing my hair and makeup for Halloween. So I'll do like a ton of like, like creepy eye makeup. And then um, I have these. Uh, or no, I don't do eye makeup for this one. I do. I have these big button eyes, but they have big holes in them, so I can see through them, and they look freaky. And then I wear like um, I have like a black dress and like scary pointy black shoes and. Um, and I cute. curl my hair, and, and then I put, um, I take thread and put glue on it, and then I put it on my face, which sounds really gross. But oh, it but it looks, looks like a crack? Like, looks like stitches. Ooh, that's, that's pretty cool. cool. So I like more playing with, like, hair and makeup and then just, like, putting on whatever. Yeah. So even if, like, my hair and makeup is, like, all done and, like, super creepy, I'll just put on jeans and, like, whatever. Because <laughs> it works, right? Yeah, because yeah, you came nice. with um, Last year I tried to put... I don't know, last, no, that was a couple years ago. I tried to do, I put, like, black eyeshadow, like, under my eyeballs, and then made it look, I branched it out, and just by luck, it kind of looked, ended up looking really cool, and looked like little tree roots coming Ooh, out of my that's cool. eyeballs, and people were like, that's so cool, what are you? And I was like, I don't know. I feel like the only good costume I've had in the last couple of years is either the creepy doll, or three years ago, I dressed up as a strawberry, which was hilarious. I had like a red dress, and then I made this oh, like that sounds adorable. paper hat with like green construction paper coming out. I also made it out of a sour cream container, a piece of elastic, <laughs> a glue gun, and green construction paper. Nice. That, that was like one of my best crafty moments. I did, I used to like do a ton of crafty stuff for, for Halloween. Um, mm -hmm. I still do, clearly, but they have, it has changed a little bit. I used to make my own costumes and stuff and take wow. like all month and I did Daenerys from Game of Thrones one year and like hand sewed the entire thing and then I was like, that was too much work, <laughs> like way too much work. So, I don't know. I also was pretty good at making the dog's costumes. That was kind of my, my moment to shine. Mm -hmm. One year, uh, Ingrid was a... Pagacino. Like a cappuccino? Yeah, so I stole a Starbucks cup lid and made her a little hat with it and then oh. painted um, a cardboard koozie to go around her middle. <laughs> like Starbucks. It looks so cute. Wow. Uh, and then Duncan was a baked pug potato. <laughs> Out of like aluminum foil and then I used cotton for the thing and then I did like. Um, Use like wire hangers and stuff to, to make the no wire bacon. hangers. Oh, that's what I could be for Halloween. Have you seen? Oh, you might be too too young for that. No, huh? no wire hangers. Mm, why not? Um, it's a black old black and white movie. My mom used to chase me around the ha the house with hangers because it's it's um I can't remember the name of the movie. I think it's called Mommy Dearest or something like that. It's a black and white movie. Oh, with Mommy Dearest is is a famous movie. Is that yeah? Is that the one I'm talking about? Did I get it right? Um, the one with Faye Dunaway, and she's like, I don't know what the deal with her is. I haven't seen the entire movie. Uh, but there's this really famous scene where she's, like, chasing her kids around the house with, like, these, like, wire hangers because she's, like, OCD and doesn't... She's like, I buy you nice things, and you put them on wire hangers. Doesn't this mean anything to you? And then she's, like, Good so Lord. scary. And it's black and white, so it's even scarier. And she's like, no, 
wire hangers. That's a good Halloween costume. Also, food for thought, I stayed with this girl in Brooklyn over my New York trip, and she used to be a costume, she does like wardrobe and stuff for like Food Network and shows like that. Cool. And she said that one of her first jobs was dressing Faye Dunaway, and every, I guess she's like a legend for being like a horrendous, terrible yeah, those old client. Yeah, diva are like, diva. Yeah. For sure, yeah. So in the story she was telling me, I was like, ooh, that's why I don't, that's why I started working for myself and not for other people, because that, yeah. All right, so I've added some hats and the little like old pilgrim style hats. I'm trying to get one that you can actually see. There you go. <laughs> it's cute. Looks good. I keep forgetting that there's more than one direction on this, so I need to switch it around. Mm -hmm. I remembered once. <laughs> one time. One time. <laughs> um, oh, didn't work out so well. I'm trying to leave some gaps so I can put some green in once I'm done with black. I guess I could kind of stop. I should have folded this and fixed it. It's not quite... I can cut it. Um, that's okay. It looks cute when it's doubled over. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Yeah, I do it all the time. Oh, okay. I meant to do that. <laughs> Okay, now, do I need to go to another stamp because I'm bored with this one? Are you bored with that one? For sure. Then, yeah. Okay. But we what? what do you, I don't know. Mm. Let's Maybe see. doggy paws? Or the cauldron? I'm wondering. Oh my god, your dog snores so loud. <laughs> oh no, this is not her snoring loud. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, it can get like a, like a train. It's ridiculous. I love it. I'll be just about to fall asleep and I'll hear, <laughs> and I'll be like, oh my God, I'm awake. What's going on? And she'll be like, I'm not. Peace. Yeah. I'm not. Um, maybe, okay, one of these, I think. So she's got dog paws. We got it. Hmm. I feel like the doggy paw looks too much like, see, this is what happens when I don't play, guys. I think I just want a different shape. Maybe I'll just do like set a couple of things like this. Okay. Now, should I try to make another color in here or should I stick with the white? Maybe hmm. I'll try and do a little bit of tint. Maybe like, like orange. Orange, yeah. That would look cool. Okay, let's try like that. a bright orange. Orange. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave the white on here. I'm just gonna add a little red and yellow to that to put it all together. I feel like we normally have more viewers than this. I think maybe everyone's sleeping. It's Sunday morning. It is. But don't we normally do? Oh, we do Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. And like early afternoon. You're um, right. This is early. Maybe people are at church. <laughs> Maybe people. I did actually have one girl that I work with who I was like, are you going to watch it? And she was like, yes, what time is it? And I was like 11 and she made a face and I was like, you're at church, aren't you? And mm -hmm. she was like, can I watch it afterwards? Yeah, that's Yes, you we... can. We'll have this up for later. Yeah. I just have a student after this and then I have things to do after that. So we're doing a little bit early. Not as many questions <laughs> coming in, but you know what? That's okay. Also... There's going to be a fun thing coming up for those of you who are watching. Um, and I'm going to do a lot more promotion on this later. Do you think that'll show up? Mm hmm. Maybe make it a little, a little more whiter. A more orangey. More red in it? Yeah, a little more red. Okay. Um, I'm going to be doing a experiment. I met this nice woman on Instagram who kind of does stuff similar to me. She she used to block print, I think, and now she outsources her designs as um, screen print to a screen printing company. Now it's too red. Yeah, it's way too red, yeah. Dang it. Okay. We'll go backwards, the yellow. Anyways, I reached out to her and was asking her if she would let me interview her. Um, to have, ooh, have her, she lives in Ohio, so she's not going to come in, but we do like a video interview and talk about how she got her business started because the people I've been talking to lately have been kind of interested in like starting creative businesses. So I thought it'd be fun to do like a whole series about like how people got started, 
um, what were their obstacles, what things were really helpful, any advice they had to offer, things like that. That, I mean, I would love that, personally. Yeah. yeah. So, I thought that would be cool, and so we're going to be doing a, a video on November 3rd. It'll, I have yet to figure out, I think it's probably going to be live, but I need to figure out the tech side of that, but that's going to happen, probably. That's awesome. Yeah. So, I will give you guys more info on that coming up. Um, if I put this on the black, are you going to use this one again? Um, maybe later. Just, yeah. We can stick it up. Stamp it out. Stamp it out. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I would be interested in that. I've been kind of, so there's like a business side to doing holiday shows. Who knew? Really? <laughs> Tell me more. Who knows? Not me. Um, yeah. So I tried to sign up for this one show and it was like, you need this specific permit. So I went to the permit tax mm -hmm. thing and it was like you need the specific code so mm -hmm. I went to the code thing and it was like you need this other code and I had to work backwards and essentially I needed an LLC which I do not have and I was like no oh, I'm not an LLC um yeah you need to be like you need to have like a business I mean I am a sole proprietor pro that pri something you proprietor. need a something. proprietor yeah and I have no something so yeah you don't, you don't have to be an LLC but you you definitely can be an LLC yeah so and I was like, oh, and then I'd have to pay business taxes and all of this stuff, and it was just a little too confusing, so I kind of, like, just didn't do that show. Hi, 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 hi. Um, that's Andrea, Virginia Craft Textiles, who's oh. going to be the one that I'm interviewing. Oh, I was just talking talk about you. She heard her, her ears, ears burning. burning. Yeah. Okay. We have one witchy thing. Uh, and I guess... So, Andrea, this is Helena, sup, 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 super talented, came in to take my class, um, I was really, I said, give me your, basically I was like, give me your, is that your sketchbook, let me see your sketchbook, and because I saw a couple of her drawings, and I was like, oh, this chick's talented, and then I said, I want your Etsy store open by the end of the week, you need to start making stuff, and now she's doing more artwork than me, and is awesome, and is doing her first, your first show? Yeah, it's my first show. She's so really her excited. Her first show. So and she, yeah, she totally made me get an Etsy, my Etsy the other, which I've been putting off for years. Oh. So thank you. <laughs> and now so. I only put <laughs> now I only put stuff off for weeks. No, she's po she's po posting stuff constantly. So, anyways, I keep running into people like her. So that's why I thought it'd be fun to interview with you because you know you're like inspirational and you got like a lot going on and. Your dog is just like deflating over there. <laughs> I'm, not sure, I'm not sure what's going on under the table. She makes some, some fun noises. So, yeah. <laughs> There's a dog under the table for those of you who have not figured that it's out yet. It's even more awkward. So we bring her to work. I have a job during the day and dogs are allowed in the office. Mm -hmm. And we'll be on a conference call or a meeting with a new customer. And you'll just hear... <sighs> <laughs> the customer will be like, what was that? I'll be like, oh, no, the phone cut out. <laughs> Oops. I don't know. Uh, can you hand me the paw? I thought you wanted my drink. I was like, no. Oh, crap. I forgot we had drinks. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, drink that. I have not eaten breakfast yet. Huh. I mean, You're going to be so sloshed. Yeah. I have to teach right after this. I wonder if my student is watching. Yeah, I think the interview will be really awesome. And if anybody has any questions... Oh, if anybody has any questions they want me to ask Andrea about her textile business, um, just email me and I will put them on the list. Um, today we are making little handkerchiefs for her puppy who is sleeping under the chair chair thing. It's a pug. She's a blind pug named Ingrid and she makes a lot of noise when she sleeps. Or so, when she's awake, or walking, or... Or all the time. All the time. <laughs> so we're making some little uh, handkerchiefs for her neck. And hers is coming out Boop. a lot better. I'm on the, I'm on the, I'm on the puggle bus. I'm on the struggle bus. Struggle, puggle, struggles. Puggle, struggle, struggle bus. bus. So I'm kind of working on this little pattern where I just put things randomly, which if you watched our last session was is like my go-to um but yeah i've got this little uh puggy paw print and then some other little doodads around there so maybe if i actually flip it over i'll remember that so things you, are upside you, down too mm -hmm. mm. 
I really am bothered by this extra piece. But you like that? I like that. That's okay. Cute. It's for her dog, so it'll, I'm not going to... It'll do. frame the little the neck area, right? Okay, good. Yeah. 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 yeah, totally. If it really bothers you, you can also, also just cut it off. She's just angry, <laughs> but she won't know the difference. Nice motif. Yeah, she. I make her do all the work on these ones because I got too. I got too much going on this week. This weekend, you like running your own business and stuff, like actually being well, super crazy busy. It's not always this busy. Everything just kind of piled up because I was out of town. Yeah. And then I came back and I had made all these plans, like live stream, interview, all this new stuff, Wee! new blog posts, new Instagram, all this stuff, and it. I love every minute of it, but. A little too much. Just a little crazy. Mm -hmm. She likes the diamond print back there. Oh, this one? This is my very creatively named star print. I'm so excited. I'm working on a whole new collection right now, you guys. And if I ever get a minute to myself starting on Tuesday, Tuesday I have a minute. <laughs> um, today and tomorrow I'm, I'm hosed. Um, but I'm working on all new designs. I have a lot of fun patterns. I've been trying to make them a little more like complicated. Not complicated complex um and i'm even thinking about doing more multicolored stuff which is kind of a pain in the butt when you're doing yardage because i have to have like one giant block and then another block that kind of fits within that and it takes a lot more time so i have to charge more and i try and keep my prices reasonable <laughs> makes sense but also like most I, people would say they're not reasonable but i saw you've kind of changed up how you've been managing your instagram lately that's also and true i like it oh you do yes. okay i very helpful I love seeing student work too, but it's cool to see like your process and things like that. Okay. That was like an experiment. I've been trying a lot of new things recently with um, just putting out different kinds of content, um, trying to see what people like want to see because I feel like when I'm away, I don't always have student work to post and if I'm not teaching, like, I wasn't teaching for like almost two months. So I was kind of struggling to come up with content right. and I'm not always doing art. I'm, a lot of times I'm just on the computer. So that's not fun to watch. Um, so as I've been kind of sketching and drawing and, you know, I haven't got to the carving part yet, but when I do, you're going to get to see a whole lot of that. And that will be really fun. And then I can play with color and that's really fun to watch. But I'm not always doing that. I'm always, a lot of times I'm just on the computer. Sorry, scratch. It's great. Um, I like super Here's evil here. style nails. They're super, super long. Every time I'm on my phone, they go. Oh, that's nice. It's super annoying. Really? I kind of like that sound. I like it, but it's, it's, they, like, I keep hitting the wrong numbers and letters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't spell anything correctly. Mm. Part of crafting with dogs is dog hearing. Flipping everything. <laughs> everything. I just picked it out of one of these. How? Yeah. She's all the way down there. I know. They get, it gets in everything. It's ridiculous. Look. Um, she actually doesn't shed too badly. She's pretty good. The other one is, like, just plethora of hair. Oh. I did a macrame workshop with um with her hair? No. Love her hair. <laughs> uh with Hello Hydrangea. Um she's an Instagram person. Thank you. Hiya. Um and uh it was really cool. It was really fun to learn macrame. I'd never done it before. Mm -hmm. And the whole time I was thinking I'm never gonna do this in my house. Yeah. The fibers get everywhere and everything gets into them. What is blinking down there? Oh, that's her leash. I guess I it clicked. It blinks. Them. It's the nighttime leash. Wow. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Did I wake you? Oh. Excuse me. I'll be quieter. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I think we're gonna kind of wrap up here. Um, we are gonna finish these up and we'll post some pictures later. Some puppy yeah. puppy po poses. And um, yeah, that's all I got. I think we'll probably do another live stream in a couple weeks. And um, I hope everyone has a good Halloween. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Yeah. And let us know if you have any questions. Uh, I'll post a link to my block printing shopping list if you want to grab tools, if you want to start printing on your own at home. Mm. It's perfect time to start printing because it's Halloween. Yeah. And you can print on anything. So, yeah. All right. Well, cheers. Thanks for coming. Cheers. Cheers, cheers to beers, which these are not. And <laughs> see you guys later. Bye.